السلام عليكم ورحمة الله. This is Hani Ismail from Planning Engineer website. I received uh, several questions asking Hani how we can solve the activities loop or circular relationships. Sometimes we are too busy creating our relationships and whenever we hit the schedule button, we find an error message telling us that there is a problem in our relationships. Actually, the solve of this one is very easy. However, you need to uh, follow a smart technique in order to uh, solve it uh, quickly and don't destroy your relationships. So I'm going to show you how we can find the incorrect relationships and how to fix them quickly. Okay, now we have a schedule, very simple schedule. Okay, we have excavation, BC, RC, concrete, waterproofing, backfilling, column slabs. I created this simple scenario so we can uh, explain how and what is the causes of these error messages and how to solve them. Now, if I run the schedule, nothing wrong at all. It is mostly no issues. All the relationships here are finished to start. So in, let's say I'm going to add now a, ro a wrong relationship. I have here the RC concrete must be finished in order for the waterproofing to start, then uh, finish and the backfilling will start. If I make one relationship like I need to finish the backfilling to start the RC concrete, this will create for me the circular relationships and this will prevent my schedule from being run. Now, if I try to schedule, it will give me this error message and it will not pass. Okay, so now we know the cause of the problem. The cause of the problem that the uh, Primavera finds something not logic. I'm telling the Primavera, I need to finish the RC concrete to start the waterproofing and then complete the waterproofing to start the backfilling and in the same time I'm telling the promover that I need to finish the backfilling to start the RC concrete which create a circle for me this what called loop or circle okay now we know the cause now let's find how to fix it very simple when I click run okay I find here that I have these activities affected so simply I'm going to the RC concrete and I find the wrong relationship here as I can see from the relationship tab that I have a predecessor activity which is backfilling. Simply I need to remove this one and click yes. Now when I schedule my uh, program no issues at all. Okay. Tabia Hani, this is a simple loop. What if we have more than one loop? Let's do more than one loop and see how to fix them in a smart way. Okay, so I'm going to make this wrong relationship one. Then again, I'll make another wrong relationship. Then again, I'll make a wrong relationship. Now we have three loops. As you can see here, we have here three different loops. Okay how to find the activity that we need to fix we have here what four 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 we have here too many activities and let's say let's you have 10 loops for example i find that the most impacted activity or the activity with key relationships will be repeated two times for example you can see here pc concrete and bc concrete here you can see backfilling and here backfilling here you can see backfilling and here backfilling. So the problem most likely will be in this activity. So first of all, I'm going to solve the first loop, which is BC concrete. I'm going to the BC concrete. Now I know that the waterproofing relationship is not correct. I'm going to remove it, click yes. Then I have now two loops only. You might ask yourself, honey, how come this message pop up immediately didn't press a schedule this is because here in the options okay i use the schedule automatically when a change affected the dates 
if you uh, click this option whenever you change duration or relationship the program will be scheduled automatically if I removed it I cannot see the pop-up message uh, unless I press schedule but I prefer to keep this option on so I don't have to press run 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 every time I change something and this is useful also while you are creating the relationships because if some loops happens you will catch it immediately before you continue further okay going back to our lesson I'm going to schedule now I have what is repeated waterproofing and waterproofing they repeated two times so I'm going to the waterproofing obviously the waterproofing cannot have a predecessor of the column so I'm going to remove it now I have here the remaining loop is backfilling and backfilling so I'm going to the backfilling and here of course slab is not a predecessor of the backfilling so I'm going to remove it and click yes now I don't have any problem in my schedule I can run it without any issues you need to solve one by one because one loop might affect another loop so I hope you find this video uh, useful to you and you will be able to solve any activity loop within your schedule in a very fast way thank you very much see you in the next